Alright, hello guys, this is the Legendary Blight and I'm doing a tutorial for my Mind Mod Omni tool. This tutorial will focus on how to add a mod manually. So, um, I'm going to use some examples from my huge mod folder. Um, let's get started then. First, I'll need to install Mod Loader because every single mod needs Mod Loader. So what you do is you click on the mod management tab and then add mod manually. So a new window should pop up. Now what you do is you type in the mod name. Mod name is necessary and but the mod offer and mod version are not necessary. You could just leave them empty. I'll go ahead and type in mod loader and then so um when you usually add files into your Minecraft what you do is you open dot minecraft bin and open minecraft dot jar and drag everything in right so because I know that a lot of people are used to this method I made my program in a way that it's similar to this method I won't do it of course so what you do is you are going to uh, click on minecraft.jar to put files into minecraft.jar there are other folders as well so you click on minecraft.jar and here will pop up another window asking please drag and drop any files and folders for minecraft.jar into the white area um, the text is cut off for some reason so here you have it you select all your files from the modloader.zip or anything.zip and you drag it all in. Here we have it and you just press OK and press install. Now the mod is not added into your .minecraft yet because you have to apply changes. Over here it says there are currently one unsafe change changes. Please be sure to apply the changes when mod management is complete. So since my mod management is not complete, I won't apply the changes. And right now mod loader is not installed. I will now show it. Let's see. Here. Mod loader is not installed. So after so right now what mod should I add? Hmm. I'm gonna add a too many items and something else, but what? Okay, I'm gonna add too many items and survivalism. So now what you do is you are going to again click on add mod manually too many oops items so I'll open my too many items zip file again you could of course unzip it and you know do it the unzipped way it doesn't matter just drag the files in after you got too many items open you could go ahead and click on minecraft.jar and drag everything in and click OK and click install again there we have it installation complete so uh, I don't have any mods to add from my folder so I'll browse for some new mods the mind mod omni tool has a web browser so you could just click on the minecraft forums tab and click on released mods and go back to mod management here we here look a web browser so now I could browse for mods that I want to add let's pick an example <sighs> let's see oh single player command is perfect so what you do is you browse and click on the mod you want and look for a download link download link oops preferred download over here and you click on the mod makers uh, 
link um because they use ADFLY so I got a little script thing that's default that stops uh, the advertisement from loading you just need to press yes and it will wait for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 seconds skip 8 and here it will say do you want to open or save this file click on OK I mean click on open and this is the beauty of my mod omni tool you don't even need to save the original copy so here we have it single player commands how could I add it I click on add mods manually and then I'll type in single player commands now I'm gonna go ahead and read the instructions of course I know how to install it but whatever so what you do is you are going to go to the minecraft.jar and drag all the class files in and then copy the world edit.jar into the bin folder okay so I'll do what it says so select all class files alright I've done that now I click now I click on minecraft.jar and I drag everything in so these files are supposed to be in minecraft.jar now the instruction said that I should put world edit.jar into my bin my bin folder so I'm gonna go ahead and click on bin and drag the world edit.jar in there we have it and click install and let it load for a while and installation completed now that the installation have completed and I've, I'm done managing my mods I could go ahead and click apply changes and the progress bar will fill in it does take a while here we have a changes saved now I'm going to um, close my browser and click uh, run minecraft the run minecraft button detects if you have a minecraft.exe on your desktop if you don't have it will ask you to select it I won't bother logging in because I don't want you guys to see my account there you have it. so I'll create some random world let it load and we will see if map if oh god we will see if mod loader too many items and uh, single player commands are saved and that would be freaking awesome here look single player commands 2.101 let's see there we have it the uh, too many items look it works I got tons of diamonds yeah I'm super diamond king alright let's test out the single player commands uh, health infinite. yay I have infinite health and I won't get hurt fly yup I could fly alright so I've tested that the mods um, add mod feature work there we go this is probably the end of my tutorial so um Goodbye guys, check out my other MindMod tutorials. Thank you, bye bye.